Tamika, everyone, let's play ball. Won 13 games in conference play. They have won five in a row heading into the NCAA tournament. Be Davis. And one. The coach talked about is just her, in, her intensity and the way that she's able to get to basket. Davis taking it to the rack a little bit. And you know, Sanano. Iowa scores. Usually her fingerprints are on the basketball. That one comes up short and an offensive rebound and kick back out to Waters for three. Central Michigan knowing Iowa, how they play their zone defense. They play a lot of junk defense as well. Sometimes you don't know what defense. Kelly's 69th made three of the season. That's just good for second on the team. That's how many threes they make and Iowa answers back with a three of their own. Now it's interesting, Eric, getting, getting ready for this game today, I reached out to Kathleen Doyle to say, okay, what are your keys of the game? And she said it's going to be really important to know what Solano's going to do, but another score for them as well. Martin knocked down the three for Iowa, then coming back was Kelly with another one, and Solano picks it up and gets her first two. We're not going to back down or slow down or change their tempo or style against Iowa out of the Big Ten. They want to go quick, they want to score in bunches, and Jahari Smith gets her first point. ESPN app, then visit NCAA.com, the home for all 90 NCAA championships. Martin with a great start for Iowa, buries the three. Really, when you look at the flow of the game, this is the speed that you see both teams play in the regular season. Clark on the drive and the foul. Iowa has come back to tie it up. You have to focus on two offensive threats with Davis on the floor. Not that anybody else can't step up, but it's just a different look. Well, Davis, you may think that may be a little bit of a deep three. She can go deeper than that. And Caitlin Clark can go deeper than that. <laughs> she knocks down a long trip and a steal here, and then it was given back by Marshall to Clark. Sinano usually she gets it in there, one on one, in their first three games before falling to Maryland. Well, this is big right here. Michaela Kelly is back on the floor with two fouls early and immediately and makes an impact. Basket. And scores and a chance for a three point. She's got eight. Clark steps in for a three. Waters for Davis. Davis with a crossover, the drive, and the finish. Back out top. Martin buries a three. What a corner for Iowa's. Grow in college is the time where you really make those adjustments, but they've had to figure out how to play through adversity. Clark buries another one. Logan Cook on for Iowa. She gets the rebound, and here is Clark. Defended by Martinez. Off the window, two more for Caitlin Clark. It all starts with this game here today between CMU and Iowa, and Iowa is on a roll right now thanks to Caitlin Clark. Up to 15 points so far in the first half, and CMU comes out of the timeout, gets a three from Martinez. Got to figure out a way to space the floor a little bit more. Davis found the opening and scored again. Clark defended now by Davis, and that is what Caitlin Clark does. Looks like they're trying to do a triangle in two, but not staying attacked to players, and sloppy with the ball is one way to put it. But Iowa able to get it back and attack. Well known for the defense and the way that they play, but you can tell today there's a sense of urgency in every single possession. On the offensive end, Tyrell knocked down the three-point, yet another assist. Central Michigan trying to find some easy baskets around, or easy, easy points around the basket. Clark couldn't get it, but the follow-up is good by Goodman and the foul. 72nd game in a row, Michaela Kelly is into double figures. That'll give you an idea of how consistent and how good she has been. Really nice little pass inside to Sinano for two. Iowa now with eight assists. Kelly gets the roll. And I think Central Michigan just a different, they're a different team with Kelly on the floor. Oh, nice. Nano and one. Wow, you start looking at 
lower seed playing the entire season, you know, the, the way team play. And a steal. Turnover by Iowa. You know, defense leads the offense. And Kayla, the senior from Detroit. And Michaela, their energizer running. She's the heart of the team. She's the one that gets it going. 12 points now. Continues to dominate the block. On 5 of 7 shooting, CMU answers back inside. Jahari Smith. Warnock's three off the mark. <laughs> Kelly for three. Clark. Gets the roll. And Clark knows when it's time to step up. And to her high school coach, who she said meant so much to her. Well, the highs and lows of the game, on top of the adversity that players have had to face this season, but doesn't know what's up next for her, but definitely, you know, had dreams of making it to the next level. Kelly rattles in the three again. Bustle, shot clock down to three, down to two. Get right back to the senior. Tennessee alum, just the state of Tennessee representing Middle Tennessee State, Anastasia Hayes, continue to carry that team. So it'll be fun to watch. Smith got it back. Waters, beautiful little move down the lane for two. Well, you took up that, you just said Clark has only had two points in this half, but she doesn't have to shoot. She doesn't have to shoot. For Marshall. Marshall to the basket for two. She didn't have to score in the third quarter. When you have other players stepping up, her presence on the court is enough to score, and she must have heard us talking about it. It tips her right in. And Michaela Kelly had three fouls in the first quarter and really been efficient. We cannot underestimate Central Michigan being able to knock down threes. Well, I had my eyes on Clark. They were great players coming out of high school, but you had to adjust to so much going from high school. Beautiful look. And Warnock scores for Iowa as they stretch their lead. Bring in someone who's going to dominate on the stat sheet. People want to be successful and be around her and be a part of that good energy. So sometimes those goofballs need to be celebrated. So Caitlin Clark, that's for you. Coach Bluter said, uh, admittedly, like you would, could have players. And tell you what, Iowa, CMU and had Iowa throwing the ball all over the place. To try to trap Clark, who calmly gives it off. And just a couple of passes later, it's a layup. For Sinano. Making the long passes. So they're doing the pick and roll what they've been doing all game long, but the passes that they're throwing are a little bit careless. Kelly on the drive gets it for just how prolific a score she has been. There are two 20 point scores on the CMU team. So they can go on a run. Clark, strong drive for two more. Kelly held on to it and rolling to the basket with Smith to put it in. Clark, Sinano, won't miss this one. Martin, Sinano, two more. The, the hustle player. Clark behind the back, Sinano with the finish. Beautiful dish by Caitlin Clark. He even saw Sonano. Look at that behind the back pass. Great finish. That's the shout out. Seniors who are all part of that sweet 16 team. From three years ago. Memorable wins over LSU and Ohio State. The sophomore Davis with it. Back to the fourth quarter, not really able to get herself going and get the team. Alexis Civilian, the senior into the game for Iowa, knocks down the three-pointer. 
In the end, it will be a comfortable victory for Iowa. Central Michigan kept it close for a good chunk. Caitlin Clark's first NCAA tournament game is a victory. 87-72 the final.